Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Um, just logged in for a quick, or maybe not so quick, a seven pointer. If we can find someone to play uh, that's sick enough to play backgammon on Christmas Day instead of hanging out with uh, family and so on. Uh, Graham, my ranking up to about 50, 29, 15. Since I started the challenge, it's sort of uh, the rating has gone all the way up, uh, but not in a straight line. Never had massive drawdown, but I got stuck at 2,600 and now 2,900 for about two months each. And it's like kind of frustrating um, when you play so many experience points. I think I'm up to like close to 7,000 or something. And there's two month period where you just don't increase. I've been around 2,900 for two months now. Obviously it gets like much tougher because the odds you're offering uh, pretty tough and everyone up at this level is really strong if you find a match to play someone similar similar rating um, can't seem to find a match here sorry uh, listening to me droning on uh, 2700 oh, it's only a speed option um, okay well I guess I'm gonna have to play fast usually I do the vlogs on normal speed but this is uh, a speed ball um, so I might have to do a bit less talking, a bit more playing. Maybe you'll be grateful. Um, we'll see how we do. Playing Matthias Roos. Don't think I've ever played him before. Swedish. Um... How many experience points has he got? 19,000, so he's been around a long time. Must be a strong player. Must be up at close to 2,700, decent back down. This looks like standard double take now. Uh, with a decent race lead, holding game, but five point open. I think you can treat these kind of positions um, almost like a standard race when it comes to cubing because well, let me just uh, think of this 2-1 uh, could break the nine to give flexibility but it's a nice landing spot uh, let's just go for this funky play could have played just 6-3 I just want to find the smoothest way to come in and not be too concerned I can always remake the points but I was saying these holding games three and four point holding games when um, they can almost play uh, like a standard race when it comes to cubing because contact doesn't really favour either side. I've got the race lead, but he's got a bit of contact. In some ways, he's trapped. In some ways, he gets shot equity. I found if you treat them similarly to, to just standard races, um, you don't go too far off. So many games are just holding games. Uh, they're the most common frequency. Uh, I haven't done the, the stats, but it seems that way by a mile. And it's just like they're not difficult to play, but you've just got to be a little bit technical and not give away any equity. And you can sort of grind a few bit, bits of PR away from most opponents, just knowing the reference points and technique on how to bear in and uh, occasionally when to leave the fly shots and when to play smooth. Could play six to two. Probably not much in it. Maybe I just want to come in the safest like this with such a race lead. And six to two has the advantage. Some numbers. He has to split. That's a three. Uh, I could drop it to the two. Um, maybe that was better actually. Uh, not a lot in these plays. Big enough race favourite not to hit. So 
So it looks like I'm going to go 2 0 up. Um, a bit disappointed if I've made any errors this game. It's a pretty seemed like a pretty standard game. I haven't used any of my clock and a speedball, which is important, so I can save the time for later. I used to be really suck at these um, speedballs in terms of time management. Found myself taking too long early on, and um, being stuck for time. Uh, rolled, I spoke too soon. He rolled a last-minute double. Uh, a bit disappointing to lose that race. Celebi, no Christmas present for me yet. What does he play here? 18 and 5, come into the 6, double hit. Not sure. Maybe 18 and 5. Could make the bar. Lots of options for him. That's my 3. Come out and duplicate sixes. Thirteen eight was another option. <coughs> That's probably was right because you see a number like six three doesn't even hit. Guess it's time to get out of dodge. Pretty even race holding game again. Um, what do I want to do here? Who does contact favor? It's kind of a weird one. Could just do this. Not sure what was right. But I'm not sure why I did this. It just gives him sixes and doesn't block fives. So. Four points nice, but that was a, probably wrong. I feel a bit under pressure in these speed boards to make a decision instead of just sit there and reason it out. It's happened to cost me. Not having the blockers. Maybe it's better to play six to four there actually. Six to four, five to four is another play, probably not much in it. So he's three pips up, but if one check if you're off. Got the gap on the four. Um, this doesn't look good for me now. Same number of checkers, he's five pips up, he's spread, I'm not. Gotta give it up. Uh, 
stock 3 nil. Gonna play it to the seven, I think. No, I think that was a mistake, leaving a lot of blots. Now I want to chip early cubes, but once he's made the three point anchor, a lot of my gammons go down. I think this is close, probably not enough. Could make the nine, or just come around the corner. Well, I kind of like this, I don't know. Maybe it's a bit unnecessary, but he's got the block. Tempted to cube. I'm sure you know by now I'm a tendency, very aggressive doubler. But once he's got that three point anchor. Um, A lot of the incentive to cube goes, he's got so much equity, and usually takes these things forever, but now it's looking very pretty. Uh, I'm happy to cube this. Even though it's a level race, he's stuck there, his position can collapse a bit, I mean it's a pretty easy take. Um, Uh, even that math problem, like how many rolls does it take him to be a favorite to roll a, a specific double? Like here he needs double four. Well, hold on, let me just concentrate. Um, is now the time to go when he's got two blots? If I do this, he's just going to get better. Yeah, let's go now. Uh, he's not going to hit me with a lot of the shots. This time I got the double sixes block. But yeah, how many rolls is he a favorite, say in this case, to roll double five? Um, give him the extra flyer. Um, with the block, I think it takes him 23 rolls on average to be a, over 50% to roll one. So in this game, he, you know, he might have a good 15, 20 rolls at this. It takes up. That's why so many of these things it takes even just one number. Not now, so I can make the six prime. I think we go for the blitz. Gammon's huge. He comes in so what? Um, I was going to say this is just four six double five, but that was a mistake I just made. I could have just left four five because the six three was blocked. Ultimate punishment. Instead of blocking those double fives, and one fewer shot. Let's play that too quick, too quickly even. Hard for him to recue. Obviously, he's got to win this game. Uh, if I two away, seven away. Got less than 20% where I can take the cube and put the match on the line. But now it's pretty tough. I mean, double six leaves a shot. I didn't even double this. I would have shipped that. I'm not even sure it's easy to take. May have taken, not sure. Now there's no bad numbers for him, it's too good. If 
when I rushed a few plays there, um, even though it's a speed ball, I should be able to uh, take a, manage my time a bit better than that. Be a bit more careful on those flies. Could have just stepped up, I guess, but the score, I really want contact. Feels like he's playing pretty well. I guess I've got to keep him busy when he's about to make points. Not busy enough when he rolls a double from the bar. Another holding game type position. What's he looking at? Make the bar and then, I don't know, one more. I guess I've got to go now. Kind of weird position, three out of four points. <clears throat> Stuck heavily in the race, I kind of got to do something. Can I just do this? Make the five is, at least doesn't do a lot. Let's just make the five. Well, whatever happens, I'm not passing to go 6 0 no, six, uh, to Crawford. I only need 12% or 10 or 10 or 12% or something. Maybe a bit more, but this. Well, now I am. I don't know what chance I've got to win this race, but basically none. Give me a free roll here. Might not even be a free roll because. Uh, even if I roll double six, uh, um, oh, maybe he's going for the running gamut. I never even thought of that. Not the most exciting games for you, I'm afraid. Hopefully the match isn't over yet. Be a good one to come back from. Fair if you just cube me out, but it makes no difference, just speed up the game. Okay, I'm odd number away, so this is like double match point, Gavin doesn't help me. Just give me a free pass. <clears throat> well, classic double match point kind of game, 6-5-6-5, runner. 6-3, hmm. Slot twos and threes double one. Nothing. Uh, I guess we're just keeping busy with half a roll and unstack the mid, even though it's ugly. Well, if I get blown out of the water here, <clears throat> is there any point posting this vlog? It's not much uh, 
educational value. But it's not over. Let's fight. To clear the fourteen now. Yeah. Well, that'll be a wall. That's uh, what the problem with having a rating around here is, you know, you play 2.09 and you just get beaten um, by 1.91. Um, I mean, there really was nothing in this match I could think of that was... Uh, Let's just have a quick look. I'm not sure how I, I just didn't see this. This was a blank at the pick and pass. I was looking at 6454. Um, of course, there's occasional gammas and hardly any losses. I just didn't see that play. All the difference between winning and losing the error rate. I blundered here, double hit. No. So it's difficult. So they hit with a three. I played out to the bar. Better to come down to the eight. Let's have to look at that and think about it. Yeah, this one was all I, I rushed a bit. Um, best to play 13 nine twice. I played. 13, 11, twice, 6, 4, twice. So it was, well, the right idea was to break contact, but uh, there's no need to make the four point. It just gives you landing spots. It's a really unusual position with so many points to clear. Um, but here is the opposite. The race has changed. Now I need the contact. Uh, and I broke it, so I messed up twice there. He blundered, this was a pass. Ah, oh, interesting. Leave the plot. And I thought maybe I wanted to block his sixes here. It was better just to make the, all the points in a row of the prime instead of the broken prime. It's not worried about getting hit, he might not even hit you. So even this match, which I kind of thought was a no-brainer. Not much there. Oh, this is interesting. Um, it's my play. The best play wins 17% gammons. My play didn't even win more gammons, actually. I guess when you get only 17 when he's got the three point he comes in an anchor so usually I, I was thinking blitz for gammon but 
I win just as many gammons just by making the six prime. Um, maybe I didn't take long enough. Uh, probably would have got that wrong anyway. I think this game. I think that game. Okay, everyone, have an amazing Christmas. Um, there's a little setback back to 2900, so there's still a long way to go, but I'm within 100 striking points. And obviously, um, if I keep playing 2.09, it's not going to take me long, but holding games are obviously easy. I mean, look, I played 2.09, 4.42, 1.6, a lot of twos, and then Ugly six, four, five, six, four, so three or four bad matches in a row. Uh, and then some more twos and so on. So just got to keep the consistency up. I wonder why I never played threes. It's either twos or fours or sixes. Um, anyway, I guess I'm kind of happy with my performance, but uh, wasn't very lucky, Jim, today. Uh, take it easy. Uh, Merry Christmas.